It's day one of Snooker's Wushy Classic, and we have a first here, Rianne Evans, the women's world champion, the first woman to qualify for a world ranking event. She beat the former world amateur champion, Tepchara Nu of Thailand, in the qualifiers a few weeks ago. This is a wild card match, though. She was unlucky, really, to, to draw a wild card because it looked like she was going to play Neil Robertson. But first of all, she's got to beat Zhu Yingwei if that is to happen. Well, it's a big day, of course, for Rianne. She has uh, been on the main tour. She was given a wild card a few a couple of years back. Didn't uh, fare too well. But, of course, uh, she's in a, a difficult position. She's by far the best player on the women's circuit. She's won the world title nine times. So, in some ways, she's too good for the other women. She's not quite yet good enough for certainly the top professionals. But, as I say, it was a good win over Tepchara Nu. He's a good player. So that would have given her a lot of confidence. She's not actually on the professional tour, but uh, because not everyone entered, they topped up the 128-player field with players from the Q School, and she did pretty well in the Q School, so she got a place. But this is a tough match again. We've got uh, a dangerous young player here, Zhu Yingui. Alison Fisher was uh, the great women's player of 20 years ago. She ended up, she beat quite a few male players in invitation events, but she ended up going to America to play pool, where she's done really well. She'd been very successful. Oh dear, that wasn't very successful. Yes, yeah, that long attempt at the long red there has given Rianne first chance. Although it's, you've got to say it's not an easy one. Let's have a look to see if the black goes to the right corner. The pink will go to the right middle. But the red's not easy. First time I've seen a plate. And that wasn't a bad red to start with. Yes, it's worth saying it's not a, ma a, a men's tour that we show on Eurosport. It's open to men and women. There's no discrimination in the professional game. Well, that was a super shot. Played very confidently. Played the cannon to the red. There is, though, certainly a financial disparity between uh, the professional circuit and the women's circuit. Ronnie O'Sullivan, when he won the world title, picked up a quarter of a million. Rianne Evans had won her ninth women's title a few weeks earlier. Her prize was £400. And, of course, the good thing about her now being on television is hopefully other girls will see her and can inspire to play themselves. The culture of snooker clubs, I think, in the UK has changed. They haven't always been the most welcoming place for, for women down the years. Well, that was, uh, didn't want to catch the brown there, obviously. A 
fact, there are some clubs that are the barred women, not necessarily snooker clubs, but uh, other establishments. Well, it wasn't very far away. Played the cue ball in such a way as not to leave an easy red on for an opponent. There's some pressure on Zoo here. Playing the women's world champion. He'll be expected to win, but it could turn out to be a tough match, this. Could have done with a little bit more pace in the cue ball there. Still on this red to the left corner. Thinking of playing a delicate cannon to the pink, pushing it towards the middle. Nicely played. This isn't easy. It's right to the middle. Lots of pressure on this shot. Well played again. I'm sure Rianne is uh, excited, nervous, but also determined to make her mark here today. Oh dear. Well, that was unexpected, especially after the pots that she'd made so far. She'd potted all the pressure balls. But that could be expensive. <laughs> 